My name is Tim Bennix and this is a Turbo Tutorial. In this quick tutorial, I want to show you how easy it is to add things to the head of your HTML page with Nuxt 3. They've added a whole bunch of convenience methods so you don't have to kind of work around it how you had to do it in Nuxt 2. So let's go into the VS Code and I'll show you. So nowadays, what you can do in Nuxt 3 is actually really, really cool. You can actually just add a head property in your template off your page. And now you can see I'm in an app.view and even there it works. And so I literally just had the title friends. I just added it in, nothing else. And by the way, this is a clean Nuxt 3 setup. There's nothing in there, no modules, no plugins, nothing. Not even configuration. And so when I refresh that page, of course you see a picture of friends because why not? And in the title you can see there is friends. And so now that we have this, we can actually do some fun stuff. We can actually make this more dynamics. So how about we make a const title, which is a ref, and let's make it friend, oops. Friends is awesome. And then what we can do, Let's actually make that dynamic. If I can type, always the same problems. And there it is, friends is awesome. So that works really well, quite as expected. But you can also do more. There is a really cool composable that can help you. And so I've actually copy pasted that because I'm not good at typing. So here you go. And so let's make that title basically friends again. And so now what we've done, we've added the use head composable and we add a title template with that variable that we just made, right? So now it can say next three likes title. And so the title template allows you to have every page now says next three likes and then whatever that variable title becomes, it puts it in there. And there's also some other stuff, like we can add stuff to the, to the body, like a class with a friends class to the body or other things for later on. If you wanted to include fonts or scripts or whatever you want to do, you can add that in here and that's really easy to use. Um, so let's see what this made. So let's refresh. And then it says, next three likes friends. And so there you go. So how about we have a look if we can find that body attribute of a class. Let me just zoom that in a little bit and the body class friends has been added. And this is actually how simple it is. And you can do this in any page you want and you can kind of make it dynamic. Um, you can do async calls and then add that data to this. Um, it's basically just so simple now. There's no other way you have to be doing it. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in another Turbo tutorial. Cheers.